No, no, we have to be more like Marvel. We have to be lighter. We have to be fun. We can't have darker movies. We can't have rated R movies. And then you go and release Joker. And how is that doing for you right now? Do you know what comic book movies were before The Dark Knight? They were decent. They were fun. But that's all they were. They, they weren't this big phenomenon of which they've become. They weren't. They just simply... Or not. And again, what changed that? The Dark Knight. The Dark Knight gave you a good film. A great film. That took the idea of a comic book movie and it grounded it and it made it into, Christopher Nolan made it into a great film. This isn't fun. This is a great film. This is great cinematography. This is a great script. A great story. Great acting. That's what the Dark Knight did. That's what transformed me into a huge Batman nut, a huge DC fan, because that's the route they were going down. And that is why DC needs to continue down that route. Yes, different characters have lighter tones, but for a lot of your characters, obviously your biggest one is Batman. That needs to be darker. That needs to be darker stuff. And you listen to the bloggers, you listen to the critics, the fake critics, who said, Oh, these movies aren't any good. You listen to that, and you fell into the trap, and then you tried to produce this, I don't know what the hell you want to call it, Justice League, Frankenstein movie that just did not work. You tried to lighten it up, and you saw what happened with it. Now you have a movie, budget of $55 million. 50, let me say that again. $55 million budget. Now it's looking at making around $900 million. This is the greatest thing ever. This is the year that Endgame came out. And guess what? No one's talking about Endgame right now. Everyone's talking about Joker. Because at the end of the day, what is a film like that going to do to you? It's going to change you. A film like that is going to make you think. A film like that is going to be a film you want to watch for the rest of your life. You're not going to go back to the Endgame. This is why DC needs to be darker. DC needs to be different. DC needs to be more mature. Rated R if you have to. Set yourself apart. Let Marvel do their thing. Let them be lighter. Let them be fun. That's cool. Whatever. Let them be that. Now you need to step up and be the, the more mature films. The rated R. The better films. The, with the better actors. And the better scripts. And that is what Joker gave us. At the end of the day, that film is phenomenal. And you're going to go back to that. And you're going to be like, that, mo that movie wowed me way more than it did in game. And that just gives you, that just shows you the power of the brand, the power of what they can bring. Marvel doesn't have a Joker. They don't. They gave you Venom, which still wasn't really a part of that's a whole Sony thing. They gave you Venom. I mean, I I really don't got anything to say about that. I didn't think it turned out too well. I thought it was kind of a boring blah movie, but it made a lot of money. But anyway, they got Venom. And you know, there's all this blah, 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 Martin Scorsese and, and all these other directors coming out, you know, kind of throwing shade at Marvel and, and everything, saying Marvel's not cinema. The simple fact of the matter is, Marvel is cinema, but they just don't like their films. And, you know, they, they call them theme park films. And, and again, that, that's kind of what they are. And, th and then Scorsese is saying that Joker is, is you know, real cinema. Which it is. That's just what it is. You know the Marvel movies are lighter tone. They're more fun. They're, they're not. You know That's just what they are. Accept it. They shouldn't be winning Oscars. They, they're not really going to have a big impact on you. They're just fun. And they amaze you. And that's great for a film. That, that's its own thing. You know, I, I want to be able to watch a comedy and laugh. I want to be able to watch a movie that makes me think. I want to be able to watch a movie that's fun and entertaining. That's that's why there's different categories for movies. They're all different kinds. So yeah, DC, do your thing. You see it's paying off for you. You try to get away from it. You, you know, with, when Man of Steel and then BVI and then Justice League, you tried to really lighten it up. And, and what happened? People could tell they, and they didn't like that. Now you're getting back to where you need to go. I believe Birds of Prey is rated R as well. Yes. If it needs to be rated R, make it rated R. That's fine. And now you're going to have the highest grossing rated R movie of all time with Joker. That is just phenomenal with a budget of $55 million. It is insane. So I can't stress it enough. 
DC, you got the goods. You control this market. You may think you don't. I shouldn't say DC, Warner Brothers. You control this market. So if a movie needs to be dark, let it be dark because that's what you got. That's what you have, the grittiness, the darkness, the matureness. That's what you bring to the table. So don't change that. So guys, please subscribe because that helps me in return. I can help you. And as always, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, new content's coming to you from Subjective Reviews. Don't forget to check it out. And thank you for watching. Thank you.